The Logan Paul first edition base set booster box break, the event that kickstarted all the recent Pokemon hype and the video series on this channel that led to us getting over 400,000 subscribers. It starts with Gary V, then Logan Paul. People like Logan Paul are going to get interested. Once now people lo like Logan Paul are getting interested, it's going to go, you know, even further. <laughs> what? No. No. Yes. Squirtle, Let's go. Yeah. We'll take that. We take that. My $11,000 first edition base set pack from Logan Paul is finally here. Squirtle, now here's where the value really starts to come into it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. $80 for the Raw, 1500 for the PSA 9. Baby. Bulbasaur. Oh, next up we got the Bulbasaur. As we were putting these details in, I actually started to realize our pack was literally insane. Like, it was so good. Honestly, it was so good. But in today's video, the entire series comes full circle. What I have in front of me, ladies and gentlemen, is my PSA returns from the Logan Paul box break. Inside this box are the cards that I got from my pack from Logan Paul, my $11,000 pack. And in this video, we're going to react to them together. I haven't seen these cards at all yet. My wife, Laura, organized them into boxes. I have no idea what to expect. I'm completely nervous right now. I'm actually shaking a little bit inside. Make sure you do leave a like as well if you're excited to see what we've got inside here. And also, behind me, I've got a massive box of loads more PSA returns, such as PSA returns from the base box that Simon and I opened, the Team Rocket box that Josh and I opened, Josh's Gym Heroes Gym Challenge, and a bunch more graded PSA cards down there, and I have no idea what the grades are. So, I'm going to be releasing these videos over the next few weeks, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you're ready for those returns. But today, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the Logan Paul returns. So, my wife, Laura, like I said, has organized this. So she says, this way up. Okay, so I think that... I always hate this part because I'm trying to not see the grades. Okay, that's the back of the card. Now they're all sleeved up. Usually I like them in like not in sleeves for the videos because it kind of glares on the on the video. But it should be fine, okay? So here we go. How do I do this? Oh, actually, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I completely forgot. I've got an entire PSA screen for the returns. I'm so nervous. I actually, yeah, I love this moment, but I hate when it actually finally arrives because it's just so nerve-wracking and I don't want it to be over. I want, I want this feeling forever. All right, should we do it? Should we just open the first card or reveal the first card? Uh, I'll put these to the side. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first card is a... Oh, okay. So a drowsy and a mint nine first edition. Okay, so I do I do feel like a lot of these cards are gonna be mint nines. We spoke about this on my actual submission video when I actually received these cards raw in the mail from Logan Paul, uh, and we checked these cards over, and we did see that you know they are most likely to get nines because of let's have a look the centering. The centering is not too bad, but I guess maybe not ten contender worthy. This is what I mean about these sleeves, man. Like I can't see it properly on the camera, so I like to take them out. Yes, yeah, so we can see a bit of a nick in the corner. Back in the day, I always used to feel like that was okay to get a ten, but it seems not anymore. But there we go. Okay, the first card, drowsy. Mint nine. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, the next. I'm nervous now. I don't, I don't. I'm nervous now. I'm happy with mint nines though. We'll take those. So I shouldn't really be nervous if that's the theme that we're gonna we're gonna be seeing here. Let's see. Should I take? Let me just take them out. Yeah, I gotta scan them anyway in my in my scanner. So it's easy if I just take them out. And it looks better on the camera as well. So let's go. Right. Let's see. Okay. We have next up a dugong and again first edition mint nine so that's that is the theme so i don't know obviously the big cards in this submission are going to be the pikachu the squirtle and the bulbasaur my pack wasn't amazing because i didn't i get a hollow i got like a super energy removal but i did get some good starters so they're they're the ones that you'd hope are are tens if possible there we go still great cards though still mint nines first editions next up let's see what we have next uh, again i have no idea what these cards are Whew. okay next up we have a Vulpix Gemmin 10, let's go! Vulpix Gemmin 10, no way! I can't believe we got a 10! We actually got a 10, let's go! Alright, leave a like for that in the comments down below, or leave a comment, I don't know. Send some good love, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. First edition Vulpix, and obviously it's it's the error, you know, it's got an error on it, because as you can see on the Dugong, it goes 80 HP, whereas on the Vulpix, it goes HP 50. Fun fact though, this error is more common than the corrected version, and there is no corrected version, I don't believe, in first edition. But there we go, we got a Gemmin 10, baby! Picks, come on. Let's go. Right, next card. Okay, I'll, then when I get given a 10, though, I'm like, I'm not going to get 10s on the most important ones, but right, next up, next up. I appreciate Grenade Gem for putting them in sleeves for me, but um, I have to scan. It's just, yeah, long story. Anyway, let's go. Next one, next one. Come on. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be exciting. Let's go. Right, next card, we have a... Oh, Gemini 10 on the first edition base set fire energy. Now, that's cool, man. 
that's cool. Obviously, fire energy. People like it. I like it. It's really cool. Charizard type, you know. To get that in a gem in 10 is just really cool, man. The first ever fire energy Pokemon card in English. And we got it in a 10. That's incredible. I'm so happy. I'm gassed now. But now I'm like questioning Laura and Graded Gems, like ordering these cards. So obviously, they know what I got. Laura knows what I got. By the way, if you want to get your cards graded, make sure you go and check out Graded Gem. In my excitement, I forgot to mention that. They're awesome guys. We're going to be working together a lot in the future as well. I trust them with every single card that I send to get graded. Make sure you check them out if you want to get your cards graded. I sent these on Express Plus as well, so we got them back relatively quick. Obviously, PSA got a lot of cards to grade right now, but yeah, shout out to the boys at Graded Gem. But right, okay, next up. Now, okay, let's just, let's just do it. I'm not sure what to expect anymore. Let's just get through these. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Next up, we have a... Mint 9 Full Heal. Okay, Mint 9 Full Heal. Now... It is just a full heal, right? I feel like, yes, first edition, yes, base set, but it's like, it's a full, it's, I don't know what to say. It doesn't excite me, you know? It's just a full heal. So, you know, I much prefer these Drowsy and Dugong cards. And the energy's a bit different, right? Energy's got like a little bit of a feeling to it. Whereas some trainers do, I guess. I guess like Professor Oak, like Bill, Last, have got a certain feeling to it, but full heal, meh, nah, you know? So we'll put that underneath the Dugong in terms of presentation. But okay, so it's not gonna go nines and tens. So we could see some more nines. I feel like I'm, I think when I pre-graded these cards in my video, I think I predicted the Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Pikachu to get nines anyway. So I'm not holding my breath. And I'm also not going to be expecting the tens on those or even nines. We don't know because, you know, I feel like it's better to have lower expectations than high expectations for obvious reasons. Right. OK, next card. What we got? What we got? Looks quite clean on the back, to be fair. You know, it looks quite clean. Let's let's have a look. We have a. Ooh, Gemin 10 Defender. Again, trainer card. Not too gassed about it, but. It's a 10, you know, so we celebrate those 10s. Let's go. Okay, again, there's not really much to say about it, so let's, let's just move on. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to hype this card up, but it, it's just a trainer, man. Like, like, <laughs> okay, so we've got, so far, we've got three 10s and three 9s, so an equal splitting in this pack so far. Thank you, Logan. Let's go. Right, let's see. What's next? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh, okay, here we go. What's next? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, super energy removal got the mint nine. So this is actually my rare card. So obviously in every Pokemon pack, you get a rare card. And if you get a hollow, that's where the hollow would be in the rare slot. So obviously I didn't get a hollow. PSA nine on that it is what it is. I think the 10 does go for a decent, you know, price. So there we go. Super energy removal. Very, very nice. I'm not sure if I'll keep all of these. We'll have a look at the end when I see everything I've got. And we'll figure out if I'm gonna if I'm gonna keep them all or you know if I'm not gonna keep them. We'll see. We'll see. But there we go. Super energy removal as the uh let's put it behind the dugong. You know, I feel like the dugong, even though it's not a rare, still takes precedent. Or still takes preference over that. So I feel like now we're probably starting to get towards the starters, right? And this is where I'm nervous. My hands are shaking. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm trying to look at the quality of each one on the back before I do reveal it. So let's see. We have a... Oh, we got a mid nine on the fighting energy. I forgot that I got two energies. Uh, yeah, you get two You get two energies, don't you? So we've got the 10 on the fight energy and the, the 9 on the fighting energy. To be fair, I'm happy with that. If I had to choose, I'd probably go for that anyway. Like, I'd probably rather get the, the 10 in the, the fire than the fighting. But still, fighting energy, very, very cool to get in a 9. And uh, yeah, it looks like now we're going to get to the 3 stars. And I don't want to do it, man, because I know I'm already in my head thinking, like, they could get 10s, but they're not going to get 10s. They're going to get 9s, if that. The starters weren't that great. But anyway, let's go. I think this is it. This is where it starts to get tasty. Let's see. Oh, am I going through this too fast? This might not even be a video. It might be like a two minute video. But let's see. Right. Oh, man, I'm actually shaking now. Let's see what we got here. We have a mint nine, right? Mint nine. There we go. Yeah, mint nine. But the Pikachu first edition Shadowless card, obviously fantastic card. It is the Yellow Cheeks version. There was no Red Cheeks pulled from Logan Paul's box. But we do have the first edition Pikachu mint nine. I think the centering, like I said, like, look at this. You can see the centering is very, um, the top border, very, very thick compared to the lower border. I mean, we'll probably go through the cards in detail at the end of this video after we see the grades. But first of all, I kind of want to focus on my reactions. But there we go. Pikachu mint nine. And I'm very happy with that. And I think it does deserve the grade. You know, no complaints there. Let's go to the next one. So the next one should be Bulbasaur or Squirtle. I think we're gonna have the same grade as the Pikachu. Because look at the centering. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the same. Anyway, let's just do it. Oh, the mint eight for the Bulbasaur. The mint eight. Oh, no. So it didn't even get the... This is what I'm saying, guys. So when we're looking at the, the Logan Paul prices and, you know, everyone's quoting like 30k, you know, Collectibles Guru, 30k for the Bulbasaur. That's in a 10. And it may not even get a 10, you know. It may not even get a 9. You might be left with a PSA 8 grade. And this is the first 8 in the pack, which is unfortunate. But you can see the... Yeah, look at the centering on the top of that card compared to the bottom. Definitely not 10 centering. I'm not sure if... That centering alone brought it down to a nine. But like I said, keep watching the video because at the end of the video, what I'll do is I'll go through each card and we'll have a look at why it got the grade that it got and if it deserved it and if we agree with it, etc. So let's first of all put this here. We'll put the drowsy behind the Pika. True. That's the nine pile. So we've got the, the nine pile, the ten pile, and then the, the eight pile, unfortunately. But that's that's fine. We have the last card now. We've got two cards left, but I think I know what this card is. So this one must be 
the Squirtle, okay? Are we going to see another eight on the Squirtle? Are we going to see another another nine? Or can we get the 10 grade? Can we do it? Can we get one of the starters in the 10? Because again, the Pikachu, Bulbasaur and Squirtle are, are the main reasons my pack was decent. Otherwise, it would have been a disaster because I didn't get a Hollow or a rare Pokemon card, you know, but I did get the starters. But then if they get nines and eights, etc., it might not have been. So let's see. Let's see. Right. Okay. Let's go. The Squirtle, we have a mint nine. Yes, we got a mint nine. So that's great. At least it's not an eight. But we unfortunately didn't get any tens on the main cards that <laughs> that mattered. Yes, yeah, so we got three nines. Well, two nines and eight. So there we go. That's the final card of the base set first edition pack that I got from Logan Paul. We're going to look at these after. We're going to see if they deserve the grade. And I'm going to try and find out the prices. The prices will have already been shown in this section here where my logo usually is. But I don't know yet. So I'm going to look. I'm going to see my initial $11,000 investment. Where is it now? Was it worth it? I mean, obviously it was worth it for the, you know, the attention the channel got and the, the fun and the event in general, but was it worth it on paper? So let's see. We do have one final card here, and with a lot of my submissions that I send to Greater Gem, I always include a Charizard VMAX from Darkness of Blaze as a way to kind of pay for the submission, if you know what I'm saying? Because this card's actually worth a decent amount in a 10, if you can get a 10, and I kind of use it to pay for my submission, <laughs> you know? So it's like a little thing that I do, and I like to think it's smart, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. If it gets a 9, maybe not, but let's see. Charizard VMAX. Oh! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So I guess, yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not going to pay for the submission. A six, a six. Okay, here's the part of the video where we go and look at the, the reasons these cards got these grades. We're going to first of all look at this Charizard and then we'll look at the rest of the base set first edition. So there we go. Let's put them in order of, of grade. Now, the annoying thing about PSA is that they don't give you subgrades, right? So there's no way to know like why it's got a six. So here's the back. I'm turning my lights on full so we can see a better image here. The back looks good, you know. It must be something like a dint on the card or a dent or something like that. I have no idea. Looks, looks, looks fine to me. All right, well, I have no idea, guys. We're going to check out Pokeren.net because this card will be available for super cheap. I'll probably price this as like the raw cost. So the raw cost of a Charizard VMAX as a six. You know, if you want to get it, put it in your binder or something and feel free. But there we go. <laughs> I thought this would be like a 500 pound card, but instead it's like an 80, 70 pound card. Um, wow, okay. Not sure what happened there. But let's take the first edition cards now and take a closer look at these. Here we go. So let's start with the Bulbasaur because that was the lowest grade. And again, unfortunately, we didn't get any of the starters in a 10, but we did get a few 10s in other cards. That's fine. So first things first, Centering is not great, right? And we can see a bit of a nick in that corner up there, the top left. However, I still feel like surely that centering doesn't make it an eight. But I think sometimes what they do is like, yeah, I feel like sometimes, yeah, I feel like the centering is just way off, right? Sometimes these kind of cards are on the brink of getting an OC grade. But if they don't get an OC, in my experience, they get an eight. So I think, yeah, the centering is just way off there. So that's probably what made it an eight, you know? So fair enough. Okay, we'll saw there. We'll accept that. But it just shows you that, you know, the Logan Paul video, a lot of the, the hype that surrounded these, these pack openings and the hype that surrounded, you know, these vintage cars. When everyone speaks about the PSA 10 price and I do it a lot as well but I always try and leave a disclaimer to let you guys know that I'm hypothetically looking at it and I'm, I'm taking that risk but a lot of people do kind of speak about raw cards as if they were 10s and this isn't this is an 8 man so not only were you not looking at 30k that collectibles guru said but whatever the price of the PSA 10 is three thousand dollars whatever it may be that's the rough guess you're not even looking at the nine, you're looking at the eight price, you know, so you can get really hurt with these. Obviously, again, you know, my reasoning for buying these these cards or, or this pack was not for monetary gain. It was just to join in something special. But, you know, you just play a part of it still. Next up, we got the Squirtle. OK, Squirtle up next. And we got the nine on this, the mint nine. So I'm happy with that. And again, centering maybe. Yeah, it's not perfect, is it? It's not perfect, but it's not anywhere as bad as the, uh, the Bulbasaur. As you can see with that top border on the left. And these are great cards though. I still need to figure out like what I'll do with these. Like, will I keep them? I mean, surely I should keep them because it's like a memorable thing, but I think I will keep them. I think I'll keep them for like nostalgia because it is still great. But yeah, there we go. Squirtle, Mint 9. I guess centering combined with the Phoenix on the back. Sometimes I feel like you could get those in a 10. I guess it just depends on the day if you're lucky, but yeah, it doesn't deserve the gem mint grade, you know? Next up, we got the Pikachu. Now we already like, we already admitted that the centering is probably the issue on this card, but looking at it now, it feels like it's just as bad as the Bulbasaur. I feel like that border size is probably like the same as the Bulbasaur, if not a little bit bigger and the Bulbasaur got an eight. This one's even worse. It's, it's like slanted. You know what I'm saying? Like it goes on like a, a, a down angle, weirdly. But there we go. Mint nine still. But the drowsy, mint nine. Tension looks good on this one. And yeah, we already had a look at that in the start. And Nick in the top corner. We've got the Dugong. Probably same thing. Sentry on the bottom is quite thick. Yeah. Nick in the corner there, there, there. But this is like worse than the Bulbasaur on the back though. But I guess the, yeah, the Sentry on the Bulbasaur is still what brought that down to an eight. But the full heel. Uh, and again, like, I mean, Sentry in. Yeah. A few nicks in the corners. That makes sense. Super energy removal. Again, the border on the bottom is quite thick. So maybe that's what's bringing a lot of these down. Uh, we have again, a few nicks in the top left. Some top right. You see a few imperfections. But the first edition energy. The fighting energy. And then we have the fire energy up next, which got a 10. So I'm very happy it's got a 10. Sentry a little bit better. But see, we still see like you still see a few imperfections on the in the corners. Like, this is a 
10 and we saw that on the 9 and said that was the reason it got a 9. So I never understand. I never understand why it's got a 10 with this these these wares in the corners. But like say, let's say this fire energy gets a 9. I guess that makes it a little bit more prominent. Is that what they're thinking? Vulpix up next. Here we go. Is that is that only Pokemon to get a 10, right? I thought when we had these 10s here, I thought, you know what? We've got a chance of getting 10s on the uh, the, the Squirtle and the Bulbasaur and Pikachu, but it wasn't to be. Vulpix got a 10. Again, it does have a few nicks in the corners, you know, so sometimes you can get away with it. It's just minor, right? It's just very, very minor. So here we go. Vulpix. Very, very nice. Gemmit 10. Super happy with that one. And then the Defender. I mean, I wish I could have swapped this 10 for one of the Pokemon, but um, there we go. Gemmit 10. And right, here's the part of the video where we take a look at the value of the cards that we just packed and see if we made a profit or if we lost money. And uh, fun fact, we will have lost money. I mean, I guess the first edition set just keeps going crazy right now with price. And you know, we saw record prices for the Charizard, the box itself, but I'm still not hopeful. So let's see. Here are all the cards that we could have pulled in the Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> opening alakazam in a 10 10k 31k for the blastoise 350k for the charizard my word actually unbelievable insane but let's uh let's change this grade actually first of all let's leave it leave it on a 10 you know let's leave it on a 10 there we go let's put the card on the screen so you guys can see what i'm looking for let's start with the vulpix because that's the first in order and it's the first pokemon as well vulpix is number 68 so let's go to 68 336 dollars that's pretty good you know that's pretty good i mean the squirrel's 3k <laughs> the squirrel's 3k in a 10 but you know we got the vulpix with 300 dollars yeah, <laughs> again, I'm not bothered about the price. You know, I, I didn't enter the, the, the event for that reason. 80 up next, number 80, the Defender. The Defender is 290 in a 10. Okay, so like 300 plus 300, 600. You know, that's looking good so far. And then the Fire Energy, number 98, 210. Okay, so not, I mean, again, 11,000 is the price to enter this, but, you know, that's fine. Then we have the nines up next, fighting energy, but we got to go up to the top now. we got to do the thing where we go to the top and we change this filter to the nine, right? Got to wait for it to load and show you how much your cards are really worth. <laughs> Number 97, mint nine, fighting energy, $52. Great. Right, 79 $130, okay, for the Super Energy removal. Although, hold, there's two of them. Okay, 9 sold for 360 but then a 10 sold for 45 so something's wrong here. Maybe the 9 is worth, like, a decent amount. 250 360 okay, that, that's, that's good then. 9's good. Full heal in a 9 as well. $73, obviously, that's not a rare, so that's why it's a bit less. Dugong in a 9, number 25 $115, okay. Drowsy, 49 $61, okay, okay. Pikachu Mint 9, now, this should still be decent. Pikachu Mint 9, 58 Bro, where is it? Oh, it's in a different, it's a different section, isn't it? 195 that's, The 10 was 1500 I got 195. That's all right. Memories. <laughs> Memories. We did see a nine go for 500 there. I guess it's just we've seen the, seen a drop recently, aren't we? In the, in the hobby anyway. 400 for nine there. Okay, so we'll, we'll see. Well, I mean, I'll keep it anyway. So there's, there's no point even looking at the price. But you guys like to see this, right? Squirtle number 63. Okay, 692 in a nine. Squirtle first edition. Okay, so we're looking at around. I'm guessing we're about two grand, two thousand dollars back from our eleven thousand dollar purchase price. So was it worth it? No, financially on paper, but of course it was worth it to be part of the event. And then also the content behind it, you know, the reaction videos and everything we did on this channel uh, on the back of that was worth it, you know. So I'm happy. And we've got the Bulbasaur, of course, the eight, the near mint eight, sorry. So look, number 44, 263. So still a decent amount for what it is. But yeah, around about 2,200 in total, I imagine. I've not added that up correctly. It's all in my head. You know, I'm not a calculator, but um, there we go. Here we go, guys. Here are all of the cards from this video. The PSA returns, including the Charizard <laughs> 6, for some reason. None of these will be for sale other than the Charizard. The Charizard will be available on Pokeran.net, so go and check this out. I'll list this for a very, you know, decent price as well. Also, check out the site. We might have a few more cards on there as well from other people that I'm selling in for them. More details on that soon, but go and check that out. And um, yeah, this just shows you as well. Let this be a lesson to you guys that not every single card you get out of a pack will be a 10, etc. And it's a good lesson to you guys to know that, you know, these vintage packs, even mine from my box breaks, you know, go into it knowing that you're not going to get the 10 price in every single card. You know, often the, the packs are worth more than the cards themselves inside. But then again, you can get lucky. You know, I, I could have got a $350,000 Charizard from this pack with that $11,000. You know, it's a risk. It's a gamble. It always is. But make sure you just are, you're aware and you're, and you're going to be OK if you take the risk and you end up, you know, in this situation where, you know, the cards you get back are a lot less than the, the price you actually paid for the pack. So please keep that in mind. I'm happy I got these cards and they, they, they're great cards to get. They're going to be with me for a long time. I'm going to have this memorable moment of the Logan Paul, you know, experience. So, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you do leave a like. Subscribe for more content coming soon, especially some more PSA returns. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for some more Pokemon content. For now, though, take care and peace out.